fine big baby, I'll share. He's a bad dude. She's a bad dude. What's up, everybody, and welcome to the Dog Pound. I'm in Dog, and I want to thank you all for spending your time here with me. I've got a pretty cool video planned for you guys today. But before we get started, I'd truly appreciate it if you'd smash that like button, share this video with a like-minded friend, and then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any new content that gets uploaded to the channel. You guys help us out tremendously just by doing those couple of things. You can also follow me over on True Social, Facebook, X, Instagram, and Patreon at The Dog Pound with M Dog. And I'm now posting videos over on Rumble at Dog Pound with M Dog. That's all one word spelled just like you see it right here at the bottom of your screen. And if you'd like to help us out in a big way, you can do so by becoming a member of our Dog Pound family by clicking on that membership button. By doing that, you'll receive discounts on all Dog Pound merchandise and you will get your name added to the credits of all of our videos. You can also help us out by grabbing one or two of these very cool Dog Pound t-shirts. Now, let's get started. Today I'm doing a 500 round follow-up review on a pistol caliber carbine that I have really enjoyed up to this point. And I've called it the Forgotten Carbine since Taurus walked away from it and it was discontinued shortly after it was imported onto the US market. I'm talking about the Taurus CT9 G2 pistol caliber carbine and it is chambered in 9mm. And it is a little weird, weird to look at, but um, man this thing is a shooting machine, it really is. Awesome, awesome carbine. As you can see. There is nothing in the chamber, chamber is open, nothing in the magwell. Our weapon is safe, all of our weapons are spot checked prior to each video just to make sure everyone stays safe and sound here on set. So we're good. If you guys had the time to watch my first shots fired review that I did on the TAR CT9 G2 and then saw the 300 round review that I did then you already know how I feel about this PCC and you've seen how well it performs out on the range. If you haven't seen those videos yet, please go check them out because I think you'll really enjoy them. I'll also post the links to them down in the description of this video to make it a little easier for you. I really enjoy doing these follow-up videos because it's a way for me to share the progression of each firearm as we move up in the round count. It gives you a chance to see how reliable that firearm is as we move through the break-in period of that firearm or if we encounter any problems along the way. And it's the best I can do since I can't have you guys with me in person when I'm out on the range. Although I really would love to have you guys here with me. So, the follow-up reviews are the next best thing. To give you all just a brief background on the CT9 G2. The CT9 G2 is derived from the Taurus SMT-9, which is a submachine gun produced for the Brazilian military and police. Sadly, this was before the era of popular subguns and pistol braces had just become a popular trend. Taurus decided to radically change the SMT-9 to form the CT9 G2 PCC. For Taurus to turn the SMT into a PCC slash rifle and import it into the United States, they had to make some cuts. Some of those cuts include additions, including a 16.22 inch barrel that lacks any threading at all. They did away with the folding stock and replaced it with a fixed thumb hole stock that's not a very attractive feature. The Taurus CT9 magazines are proprietary and only hold 10 rounds each. They are actually 15 round mags that are dimpled to hold only 10 rounds. And with that being said, 
Let's take a minute to check out the specs on the Taurus CT9G2 chambered in 9mm. The Taurus CT9G2 really had the potential of being great if the marketing effort would have been behind this great carbine. I will have 500 rounds through this gun after today, but up to this point I have absolutely no complaints about this gun or the way it has performed. The ammunition that I'll be using today are these 115 grain full metal jackets from LAX Ammunition. This has been some great range ammo and I've used it in the majority of our videos. If it didn't perform well for us out on the range, I would most definitely not continue to use it. LAX is a part of the Freedom Munitions family. They are great people who truly love this industry and the customers they serve. You'll like their ammo, but you'll love their prices. I've got some mags already loaded up and ready to go. And those splatter burst targets are sitting downrange patiently waiting on us to go smash them. So, Let's head on out there and have some fun, and I'll see you guys back here in a bit for my final thoughts. Let's roll. It's a beautiful day on the range today, and we are out here with the TAR CT9 G2. The last time you saw this one, I believe we were doing the 300 round review on this rifle or pistol carbine, and we've had a lot of fun with it. This thing is phenomenal. Uh, up to this point, we've never had any malfunctions with it. It's performed extremely well. And my only complaints about it um, was the fact that Taurus walked away from it and discontinued it so many years ago. This really had the potential to uh, be a very special uh, pistol carbine on the market. And unfortunately, it only comes with 10 round magazines. Um, when they imported the CT9 G2, that's what one of the requirements were for them to import was to more or less dimple the magazine. It's a, it's a typically 15 round magazine that they dimpled and makes it only have a 10 round capacity. Other than that, now granted, depends on how much you want to shoot, how much time you want to spend on the range. 10 rounds is plenty, but you just like to have a little something, uh, an option. You like to have the option available to have a higher capacity should you choose to do so. You do not with this here in the United States. It's an unfortunate thing, but we're not gonna be uh, crying about it. Beggars can't be choosers because this really is a phenomenal gun. And uh, we're gonna take these 10 round magazines and have a whole lot of fun with it today. And when we're done, we'll have 500 rounds through the, the Taurus uh, CT9 G2. So please hit that like button. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let's have some fun. 10 rounds, 115 grain, full metal jacket, ammo from LAX. Your safety is ambidextrous too, which makes it really nice. And your mag release on this, where it's up in here in the mag well. So, if you're asking where the mag release is, it's right there. So if you're gonna, if you're in the heat of the moment, it's easier just to slip your thumb in and pop that like that, and it'll just come right out most of the time, like that. And then you got your grooves up here if you want to hold on to the front of the carbine. So let's flip this thing on pew and have some fun. Let's see if we can't hit one or two of those bottles.
We are empty. 10 rounds doesn't take long. I think it's cool. God, it sucks there's only a little baby clip or a baby mag. I know. It's not enough mag. God. There's like no recoil. And we are empty. Too quick. Very nice gun. Awesome. Good shooting. I'm actually surprised myself. I didn't think I was going to hit bottles at 15 yards. That's good shooting. <laughs> I Very put the last shot in the target because they were just bouncing around too much. Very nice. This gun. Gosh, he's accurate and fun. So we're going to finish off these last 10. It will put us at the 500 round mark with the TAR CT9 G2. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far on a very cool but forgotten pistol caliber carbine. It's a shame that it's forgotten because you see how well it does perform. Well, let's take these last rounds, these last 10 rounds, and uh, I thought we'd do a mag dump and just see how well it will do with 10 straight rounds and if it has any hiccups at all along the way. That is just too much fun. Shouldn't even be legal to have that much fun. Wow. People, we hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as we did bringing it to you. Um, you, got us to, you got to see uh, some cool shooting, some new targets out here, them bottle ops, um, self-healing, 50% self-healing targets. Worked very well. Uh, I've got no complaints with them. They're a lot of fun to shoot, and they will help sharpen your, your skill level. It will help you bring your groups in tighter, uh, and you'll learn to compensate for movement. Uh, you know, the old saying, uh, shoot where the target's going to be type thing. So if you want to enhance that ability, man, that's a nice little target to use, and uh, so you can help sharpen that skill. Yeah, they took a serious beating. They did. We, we put it to them today. And even like... Like I said, I mean, if you took a heat gun and just heat it up, you could press every one of them uh, where the and bullet mold them right back exits over. that leaves that dimple like spread out. You heat them up, press them right back in. Yeah. And, and you can fill those. You can fill them up with sand or, uh, you know, let's just even take it one step further. You're going to have a baby reveal uh, and your family is into shooting firearms. Uh, you know, hey. Fill that thing up with pink or blue powder and take your family to the range. Good way to have a baby reveal or gender reveal, right? Right.
So, but they are. They're great targets, and uh, we had a blast they're shooting cheap. them. They're cheap. And they're very, very cost effective. They come in a six pack. And it looks just like almost like you'd get to, I'm not going to say it because YouTube will ding me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? If, if you went and bought a certain type of beverage in a six pack, uh, adult beverage. Adult beverage. That's that's what where I'm I was not looking adult for. Adult beverage store. I'm not an adult, so it's hard for me to think of words like that, like adult. Yeah. But anyway, that's a tough one. It is <laughs> for me anyway. <laughs> it's that short Billy mentality. Anyway, we are going to get out of here, and uh, we're going to have some more fun in a couple of days. We'll be back out here. And if you can find one of these at your local gun shop, don't let. The ten round mag stop you from buying it. I mean, it's fun. It's a it's a cool gun. Very accurate. Very accurate. <laughs> Very accurate. I mean, I was shooting the bottles at fifteen yards. Surprised myself. Didn't think I was going to hit them, but did it just for see if I could do it. I don't think he missed. I, and and we even have the footage to prove it. Because if we didn't have that footage to prove it, the wife would probably say we were lying. So he actually <laughs> did hit every every shot at fifteen yards and. When they're steadily moving, you know, shoot where the target's gonna be is basically what he was doing, and he made every shot. And that's made every iron shot sights. Hit. Iron sights. Very accurate gun. It is lightweight for what it is. No um, recoil. You've got no felt recoil, and it's just a lot of fun. It I mean, is. honestly, this thing is the only hindrance it has is ten rounds, and like I said, don't let that beat you up too bad because um, you can get past that. If you had 30 rounds with this thing, I can promise you, you probably wouldn't have much ammo left because you would not want to leave the range. So look at the 10 rounds as a blessing. Yeah. Just you know? buy extra 10, 10 round mags if you can find them. Oh well, yeah, and that's the problem, unfortunately, is that they're just not out there. But, you know, hopefully there are certain, I'm not gonna tell you where, but there are certain places, you guys know where I'm talking about, Look for them to pop up from time to time because if you can come across either the CT9G2 or the magazines, if you have one, you know, that would be the best thing I could tell you as far as picking up some here in the States. I believe this thing is still very popular and still on the market in Brazil, um, I think. Because when this was designed, it was designed for military and uh, police use before they, and that's, of course, why they dimpled the mags yeah. and put this god awful looking butt stock on it taylor and i thank you so much for being here if you get a chance hit that like button subscribe if you like the content that you see here on our channel and i promise you we won't bore you to death and uh, we'll take you every time we come out here to the range so you two can enjoy the the same fun that we enjoy yep, and when turkey season comes <sighs> that's gonna be fun yes come april <laughs> we'll take you to the woods Hammer time. Snacks and turkeys. Hammer time on the Thunder Chickens. So, until next time, Taurus CT9 G2 chambered in 9mm. She's Taylor, a bad dude. Say it one more time for the people in the back. She's a bad dude. She's a bad dude. See it at the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts. Welcome back to the Boom Boom Room for my final thoughts on the 500 round follow-up review of the TAR CT9 G2 pistol caliber carbine chambered in 9mm. Awesome, awesome PCC. This forgotten PCC has been amazing since day one and I only wish we could have seen how this firearm would have evolved over time if it had not been discontinued. It is extremely accurate with only the stock iron sights and you can easily add a scope or red dot optic if you wanted to. The recoil is extremely light and it's a firearm that any shooter can shoot all day without feeling like they've been drop kicked by a kangaroo. If you're in the market for a new PCC, but you also want something that's a little bit different, this one may be exactly what you're looking for. You can find them if you know where to look and I don't think you'd be disappointed. The Dog Pound has been on the road since show season is now in full swing. If we didn't get a chance to talk to you at the Great American Outdoor Show up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, we will have some other chances to do so very soon. 
Our next stop will be in Morgantown, West Virginia at the West Virginia Fishing, Hunting, and Outdoor Sports Show on March 2nd and 3rd. Stop by booths number 177 and 178, which are Timber Trail e-bikes and Ascent Stopper booths, and just say hello to us. We would love to meet you guys. After West Virginia, we will be heading to the Clearfield County Fairgrounds in Pennsylvania for their Central Pennsylvania Outdoor and Sports Show, and that one is on March 15th through the 17th. I will have more details on the Central PA Show as it gets closer, so just stay tuned for that information. Please don't forget to smash that like button on this video, and if you enjoy the content that you see here on our channel, it helps us a lot if you hit that subscribe button. You can always unsubscribe later on if you suddenly have a change of heart. Even if you don't want to subscribe to our channel, please make sure you are subscribed to your favorite Pro2A channels. All of us are working very hard to keep this type of content alive and well here on this platform, but we need your help to get our content out so it can be seen by everyone who shares our passion. So, from all of us here at the Dog Pound, thank you in advance for caring enough to do so. I'd like to thank the following businesses for all the help they've given to the channel. Steel's Gun Shop, Splatter Burst Targets, Ballastall, Timber Trail E-Bikes, and Ascent Stopper. We couldn't do this without their support. Be sure to check them all out because their information will be included right down here in the description of this video. And as always, my fellow freedom-loving family, may you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Shoot straight, shoot often, stay safe, but most importantly, God bless you and yours. I'm M Dog, and I'll see you next time on the Dog Pound. Taurus, CT9, G2, 9 millimeter. Yes, it may be the ugly duckling, <laughs> but it's one bad dude, and we gone. Oh!